What do you say your greatest weakness is? Crippling insecurity. Selfish. And a lazy. I lack ambition. Argumentative. Jealous. I only wash my hands after someone else in the bathroom. I don't know why I just told you that. It's my thing. I see you haven't got your power down on here. That's because I don't have one yet. Where do we begin with this extraordinary show? Let's let's ask you, Bilal, how would you sum up Extraordinary? <sighs> extraordinary is a comedy show set in a parallel universe where people get superpowers at the age of 18. And it follows Jen, who hasn't got her superpower, and she's 25. And it's about trying to it's about feeling left out. It's about trying to find yourself. It's about living in London in your 20s. It's about trying to be the best version of yourself that you can, but failing constantly. And it's about friendship and love. You've, you've wow. summed that up perfectly. Oh, God. Thank you very much. And that's me done. <laughs> it's a fun show, uh, Sophia. Um, it's, you know, a superhero show as well, but there's a lot of comedy to it. There's a lot of heart. There's some sad moments too. Mm -hmm. um, and your superpower is quite interesting. I mean, we don't want to give away too much. But in the opening episode, the chance to go to dinner with a certain person from the history of the world is quite entertaining. Mm, definitely. I think to make your friend laugh by, you know, channeling those kind of people to try and cheer them up, that would be a useful tool in life, wouldn't it? When someone's upset, mm. just be like, one mm. second, and then just go and get someone to make them laugh. I'll just pop and get. I'll just pop and get. <laughs> Frank Sinatra. <laughs> what? <laughs> if you're really romantic. Yeah, <laughs> Franken. Um, but it was, yeah, an absolute joy to get to play all those different kind of characters. Mm. Yeah. I I'm looking forward to seeing those other characters pop up uh, as we enjoy the rest of the season. Uh, Luke, um, I don't think I've ever said jizz in an interview like this, but um, I think <laughs> I'm allowed to on this like occasion. This. Can yeah, you explain why? I'm sorry? I, can you explain why I'm allowed to say jizz perhaps in this interview? Well, um, my character is called Jizz Lord. Um, it's a name that is given to him by these three characters. I believe by actually Cash, Cash is yeah. Cash's idea for the name of a cat that he hates and wants rid of. <laughs> I think you almost give the cat that name. So that in order to motivate everyone else to get rid yeah. of it. Um, it doesn't work. Carrie's doesn't work. suggestion is cum bucket. Cum bucket. <laughs> it's um, but that's something else I never thought I'd be saying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I think something that's quite sweet about my character is that because he kind of comes into the world not remembering anything really about being a cat and not really remembering who he was before he was a cat, it means that um, he just comes into the world being called Jizz Lord and just accepts that it's a completely normal name for a person mm. to have. And he's so accepting. And maybe that's the reason why he becomes quite close to these characters who feel a little bit like outsiders in their own life or mm. disappointments in their own life because he, he accepts them all as the perfect examples of humanity. Yeah. Like he looks up to he Cash looks up so to much Cash. and no one looks up to Cash. Yeah. <laughs> oh. yeah. So from Jizz then to Jen, uh, Mairead, um, <laughs> Jizz to again, Jenny. something <laughs> I didn't think I'd be ever saying in an yeah. interview like this, but um, Jen, you can't help but feel sorry for her, but just because if you remove the superhero element from her life, she's not dissimilar to many average 20 year olds in the real world. Is that correct? You'd say? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And I think she's got like, as you say, if you remove the superhero or superpower element, you've got like her struggling with like her relationship with her family, her relationship with her sister, half sister. Like she's got plenty of things going on. She's got a, a job that she kind of hates and a boss who is a 13 year old girl <laughs> like you put it's like just a silly just, <laughs> a -year -old girl. Yeah. just a normal story isn't it so yeah i think she she feels quite lost in her life and um the fact that she doesn't have a power adds to that but um there's plenty of other things going on for her as well which hopefully people will relate to i think she's a very relatable character you were such a brave little soldier carrie i haven't got a power yet i'm not like terminal Mommy, daddy, look at me. You do know you're not going to get your power the second you turn 18. Yeah. 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 Are we just going to ignore the fact she broke the fridge? Yeah. That's very high. And as an Irish star in this uh, extraordinary production for Disney, you must be pretty proud. Is it? Is it right that you left your job in the cinema for this gig? <laughs> yes, I did. I mean, I'm kind of weird to stay. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah. They just drove me out of there. Disney came in. They're yeah. like, get out. But no, yeah. I, I mean, I'm wary of that kind of being this, you know. Cool. I mean, obviously, it's an amazing, you know, journey to have had that I was working cinema and then was able to leave. But it's a very obvious, you know, reality for actors. And who knows? In a couple of years' time, we might be back doing it yeah. again. But yeah, I mean, it's um, 
it was amazing. Like it was funny during that process of working in the cinema, where like it was Bond at the time, and I'd like just been there for a month, and <laughs> it was like hell, hell because it was like three years worth of like kind of big excited men coming in to watch Bond and it was just like having to get them chips and like all this kind of stuff and drinks and pints and I was like no but then I had the joy of leaving every couple of uh, days like over like an eight week process to go in and play Jen in chemistry so that was a nice relief yeah and and you're from Cork is that right as well Yes, yeah, from Cork, yeah, yeah. But you're joining the list of megastars from Cork now too. I mean, you and Graham Norton will be hanging out soon. I hope so. Sign me up. I'll be there. (laughs) Now, Bilal, um, this has a feeling that it's not done yet, uh, the the series, the show. I mean, do you get that sense uh, as well, being in it, uh, or are you hopeful as well that there's more to come? I'm certainly hopeful that there's more to come. I think Emma ended the season in a really clever way. And there's a lot, there's a lot of plot lines that maybe like haven't been left, have been left sort of unfinished. So we can only hope, but who's to say? I want a power, not one so badly. Are you staring at a dog? Nah, it's not a dog. That's a demon. I'm not depressed. I'm in the middle of a redemption arc. I'm going to sort your life out. My cousin was like you and he went to one of those clinics. Are you looking to start your power journey today? Yes, I am, Denise. And minus the jizz, Luke, what would your super power be if you didn't have what you have in the show? Uh, is in what the characters or what my... my your my, personal jizz. Oh, my own personal superpower? <laughs> um, I feel like if I could have a superpower, I'd quite like to be able to teleport. Um, but I'd, I wouldn't... Yeah, I'd, I'd quite like to teleport just uh, across the room. I think I wouldn't want right. to. You can't be bothered walking. I just got the stage just man. <laughs> no, but I just like because imagine me, like because it's like. But do you ever do that thing? I'm quite forgetful, so I like go into a room and I'll forget, and then I'll go to one side and I'm like, oh, I forgot. My, I just get my keys. So, so I, I just walk in and I'd be like, boop, 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 and then I'd have everything, and you'd think he's ready to leave the house. <laughs> Come on, okay, Sophia, you better have a better answer than that. What would your superpower be? Okay. So I think oh, mine would be, <laughs> mine yeah, would be, be, you constantly have a to-do list on your arm here, but the to-do list, as each thing gets finished, as each activity or thing or job that gets done, it just goes off your skin. <laughs> you write it on to the You don't like it, you don't like that one? <laughs> Slightly better. I think, um... We'll leave the extraordinary to the show then, guys. So we'll do yeah. that. <laughs> it has been lovely oh speaking God. to you. If, it, I'm, lov- I'm loving to share the jizz with the world and with you guys. Thanks for a great show, guys. Thank you nice so much. So much. I'm scared nothing will change and then I won't even have hope. I'll just have me. What else do they recommend? Uh, long walks, sex, spicy food. You're looking at how to induce labour. No, I'm not. Oh, how dilated is your cervix? 